These guys break when you go through the car wash. That's exactly what happened to me here. I think I made it about three times through the car wash. On the third time, I forgot to unscrew it and it broke it right off. So, uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to extract the broken piece out of here. One easy way I've gotten one of these out is, is I've actually got some super gel, some super glue, but in gel form. Put a little bit on the end of like a screwdriver or a pick, suck it down on top of the broken part here and wait for it to dry. And when it actually dried up, you can actually turn it counterclockwise and unscrew the broken part right out and extract it. This only works if the broken part in there is loose, okay? Um, if this has been broken off in the base for a while, it's probably not gonna be loose anymore. They kind of get a little corroded and full of dirt and they stop turning. So, not gonna do it this way today. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use as an extractor and drill bit set here. They come with the drill bit and the correct extractor um, for whatever bolt you're trying to get out. Today we're using the smallest size that you have here, okay? They are gonna be left-hand drill bits, okay? Uh, which you want to use when extracting broken bolts because these guys uh, actually to drill um, they actually turn left or counterclockwise and that's the direction you want to pull the broken bolts out you don't want to use right hand drill bits or normal drill bits because they can actually push your broken piece uh, further down in the hole they'll also when they're spinning in that left hand motion they'll actually loosen sometimes the uh, the, uh, the fastener that's broke also and help you get it out. Sometimes you can get them out by hand after drilling on them. It's pretty crazy. And here's a little extractor we're going to use here. You can see uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to drill the hole in the base and then we're going to hammer this guy in and extract the broken piece. Okay. I will be replacing this rubber too right here on the base uh, with a new one. Uh, it's not going to be in this video because I already have a video on it. I'll leave a card right here on the right that you can click on. They'll take you to that, or there'll be a card at the very end of the video that'll show you exactly how to do that, okay? It's a good video on how to replace this All thing. Right. All right, so I'm also gonna be using this automatic center punch to give me a starting point on the broken part there. It's not very flat, it's kind of broken off all jagged into the side. So what I wanna do is um, put a little, like, little dent in it, and this is gonna put a dent in it for me. Right in the center, I don't wanna deviate anywhere but the center, okay? Because I don't wanna drill into the threads that are on the base and screw them up. Or I'm going to have to fix them. But the way this thing works is you just push it, just put it right where you want it. Basically, I want it right in the middle. And all I have to do is push down on it. All right, so hopefully you can see the little, the little mark it made there. That's going to give me a good starting point for the drill bit. And I just want to do this as straight as you can. And again, it's reverse thread, so you want to go backwards. And start nice and slowly. Just drill your way in. Not a lot of pressure because this bit is really small and it's going to be really easy to break. Um, just let the tool do the work. Hopefully you can see that. It's starting to cut right into it. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure and again, I'll just try to go like maybe a quarter of an inch down there. Just enough to be able to get the extractor tool down in there. And you can put a little bit of WD-40 or some cutting oil or something down in there to make it, uh, you know, make your bits last a little bit longer but I'm not gonna do that so I don't want to get it all over the side of my truck and I, as you can see after a minute got a little baby little hole that seemed to go go quite a bit further blow out some of those shavings all right so I've been drilling this thing for about 20 minutes just like this um, just light pressure on top of the drill right here I'm not pushing real hard the last thing I want to do is to break that bit kit only comes with one um, I'd have to go get some, um, you know, I have to go look in the garage for a drill bit that's not left hand and uh, use a regular bit and that's not good because I could spin the broken part even further down which I don't want to do that or I could break that drill bit, it might catch and just break it. Uh, I don't want that to happen either. But yeah. Alright, so I've been uh, drilling on this thing for quite a bit. Now I'm going to get the extractor bit, stick it in here, I'm going to hammer it in and then uh, See if I can go ahead and extract this guy out just by twisting it counterclockwise. Put it in there, a couple of little taps. Don't want to break anything. Let's see if I can just pull. So it's pretty loose right now, and I'll just go counterclockwise with it and see if I can get it out. And it's turning. Look at that. Go oh, there it is. Look at that. So if I would have made the hole a little bit deeper, the extractor bit would have gone further in. You can actually kind of see how deep it's going. It's not going too deep in there. 
so but it's loose enough uh, you can just twist it right out now voila there we go all right guys here we go factory antenna back on this guy's been broke for probably about a year um, I think I might want to go to one of those stubby antennas so if any of you guys know which one to buy uh, please let me know down in the comment box um, I've heard they can be kind of hit or miss as far as the reception goes so I don't want to buy the right one um, but yeah look all good um, the, the grommet here again I'll leave a link um, at the end of this video to the video on how to replace that so check that out if you got a broken one of those also anything I use in the video I'll leave links for um, down in the description box and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it, um, if it helped you out, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Check out the channel for some more Tundra videos. Um, I got all kinds of things going on in there. Uh, kind of a mix of things. And uh, yeah, let me know how I'm doing or if you got any questions down in the comment box below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later, guys.